Now this thing is about wore out this engine and it does have points in it. Last winter it let me down, I had to do the points. Um, I used to try to keep points and everything but then I started going to these other ignition coils that I don't need the points and you know once you put it on there you're just pretty much good to go. Now this is one that came on a tractor and I believe this one's for points. See how it's got the bridge part up on top? I don't know if you can read that. It says this side out. So what they're saying is when you mount it, it would go like this. But in reality, when you switch these over, you flip it around backwards and do like that. Now, like I say, that one's for a point. This is what I've been running on the other ones. They're about 15 bucks or less. Amazon and um, eBay both has them. See how they're made different? Um, this one here says this side out so they would want you to put it on like this but to make this run you got to flip it around and put it on that way we'll show you here first thing I'm going to do is take these screws out get the cover off and there's a couple bolts there to get the um, outside wheel off the belt I'm at, let me show my screwdriver here. It's an Impacta screwdriver. Now this thing is actually a JIS, not a Phillips, Japanese industrial standard. But it grabs Phillips screws really well. And this one here is like one of them impact things. If you smack the end with a hammer, it spins the blade of the screwdriver just like one of them impact drivers does. A real true JI JIS um, screw will have a dot right here on the head of it. But these work awesome. And even on a regular screwdriver, uh, regular Phillips screw, if you um, have one stuck, like I say, you just bang the head of this. I think it's 12 degrees, that shaft turns. It's a pretty cool. Anyway, let's go on to fixing the tractor. Okay, here's another thing. This choke cable, depending on how yours is. I'm hoping I can um, slide that out and not have to take that off the carburetor, but I may have to. Now these two come out and then this will pull off, if not lube it up around here and stuff, um, but you got to get that off of there. And then there's a bolt up here, there's one in here, there's one down here somewhere. I know it's dark and you're not seeing any of that. There's one right back here. Now the one right back here in the front, right beside it is your model numbers and type and code and everything for this engine. It's in the front there. And you got another one up here behind this carburetor, the air cleaner. So I'll go ahead and take these off and I'll get these bolts out here. Now to me these outside bolts on the shroud are the hardest ones to get back in. That's the hardest part of the whole job. Sometimes they get stuck, but I've had this one off, so it comes out. I don't even bother to loosen the generator up. I just take it off that way. Okay, get these out. And um, see if we can get it off there without taking the choke cable off. Okay, depending on your ability to get this one in and out, what I did is I loosened these up and slid the gas tank back. But let me warn you of something. Either unhook your battery, or uh, you can't see it. This has a rubber, still has a factory um, rubber thing to protect the amp meter. So if you have one that the amp meter is live for some reason and um, you push that metal gas tank back into her, you're going to arc it. Anyway, I don't know. I might have to, depending on how hard it is to get that back in there, I may have to loosen this and sometimes I've swung the gas tank around sideways. They're all the same kind of tractor, but it seems like some's harder than others. So whatever you got to do there. 
Okay, like I say, this one here is for points. I believe this one's for points. Funny thing is, it says this side out, and it looks like this one. I have to see if there's anything on the back side of this one. I ain't really sure about this one. It came on that tractor, and right here, it has the 39881. All I know is this, putting it on in either direction, I couldn't get a spark. These work for me. So, let's get these two little screws out of there while they're a quarter inch. You know, I don't have any right now, but I like to replace those with Allen head. Just my preference. <clears throat> also, see here you have a... A lot of times people take these off and don't put this back, especially if they replace the coil. But this has it, so I think I'll try to replace this, put this back on here. You'll have to pull the spark plug boot off. Silicone spray does wonders there if you can't get it to come off. Then I just pull this, just pull it right through there. Now see this? This is where the one wire goes to the armature coil, whatever you want to call it. One goes to the points, and one goes up to the key switch to kill the engine, um, which is the one they added here. But I'm just gonna put an end on this wire, and that's the only wire we're gonna need, this one right here. One goes to the key switch. One to the points can go away. Okay, so I took that off of there, and um, see how corroded that is and all? Clean those up. Make sure you clean those up good. Um, I usually take scotch Brite and at least clean the screws up because you want that to be grounded. Now what I did, I just took the nut off. Like I say, one of the wires went here, which we don't need none of that no more, except for that clamp right there. But anyway, this one goes to the points right here. I just left it hooked on there. The other ones that I've done, um, on my better tractors, I just removed the wire completely from the points. Um, this one here, it's got a ring eyelet on it. You'll have to cut that off. And, um, you're going to go to one of these push-on spades. It's the smaller, you know, it's not a real wide blade, it's a smaller one, but the wide ones, if you just get a good fitting one it'll fit on there good enough if you don't want to cut your original wire pull it out and put another one in just goes to the key switch all right so let me take some sandpaper and clean this up we'll get us a new end put on here another thing this one's all crappy and a little bit dirty in there it's not too bad um, when you got one part like this it's a good time to clean any of this because that's your cooling. Get all that crap out of there. Okay, so I get it up in the air, ways, and then I snug it down. Um, 12 or 10 to 14 thousandths. You can go to like 12 thousandths and put one under each leg, one under here, and put another feeder gauge under here. Unless you got the real long ones. Um, Here's what I do a lot of times. Now look at this too. What well, a bum! I just spotted that. Now I'm a flywheel for it don't come apart. Anyway, see this magnet here. You do this. You put that up underneath the magnet, and then when you loosen this up, it'll suck right down to the magnet. Then you can tighten it back up. Let's do this and see what gap we got. Because I'm lazy and I know you're supposed to set them with a feeler gauge, but a lot of times I just do it with this. My sun kissed box. Okay, so let me get a feeler gauge out and let's just see what we got that at. Okay, so that Sunkiss box, 
this goes in snugly. A little better back here. But that's a good snug. Anything bigger than 12 don't want to go in. I thought that box was a little bit bigger. You know, even the box they send you the coil with might do it, but I don't want to go stick into my the sun kiss box will do it for you. Alright, so anyway, we'll stick our little wire on there. Make sure it's on there good. If you have to, take pliers and barely squeeze these together. And we want to make sure it's tight enough. Um, then we're going to put our bolt back in. And we're done in here. We just put the cover back on then. It says cylinder side out. Or cylinder side, I mean. <laughs> I said that backwards. This side's supposed to, it's supposed to be turned around. This side's supposed to go to the cylinder. Because of where the magnets are in the flywheel, this is the easiest thing. Just flip it around backwards and put it on there. Okay, so we're all set now. I snug these down. Don't over torque these. You, they were little, very, very little. They'll break off. Snug, good and snug. Make sure you clean that block. I either put the bolt back or put the clip in. This wire here goes to kill it. What happens is that wire, when you kill the engine, grounds out in the switch, grounds this out. That's the only wire you need. Cylinder side out. Let me put the cover back on. See these little welded on nuts? If those don't go right, or they don't seem like they start in the cover right, don't force them. You break them nuts off, and then it's a load of fun. All right, okay now at this point, let's make sure there's nothing in the way. You ain't gonna get that choke cable sucked into the, into the thing, I ain't gonna try to choke it because it was started a minute ago. Okay, let's make sure it'll start before we put it all back together, I guess, huh? Oh, hey, wait a minute. Can't do that yet. I gotta put the, you know, it's easy to put this on. Let's just stick that on there for a second and make sure it runs. Okay, I just barely snugged them down and I just rolled the belt on. Let's see if we have any better luck. I would say it's gonna run. So, we'll take this back off and get the blower housing back on and get these bolts started. Now that's gonna be the hardest part. Now one more thing, some of them coils, the newer Magnetron and all, have a dot for the eye or the sensor for it. Um, this doesn't seem to have anything. This bracket back here is adjustable for timing. I don't move them, it seems they'll do fine. Um, I think for the Nova system or the points trigger, you may have to move the timing. But for these, I just, you know, I just bolt it on and it seems to work. I, I never really went through the whole procedure and check timing on it. Um, but, you know, I just bolt them on where they was at and they seem to work fine. Like I say, this is gonna be your hardest part. A lot of times I'll get, get it on a magnet on a stick, get it where I think it's gonna be and then I take over with a wrench. It's hard to do this one-handed look through the viewfinder. Or you can put a little bit of grease on the wrench, or you can just move the gas tank and spin it around. Whichever you need to do, do not get them in there cross-threaded. Okay, so I went ahead and loosened them up, and I just raised the gas tank up, and I got in there with my hand because it wasn't lining up. A lot of times you got to pick up. You just got to make sure you line it up. You got to put a little screwdriver in there and work it around. Don't cross-thread it. Okay, I finally got all these in. This front one down here in the bottom was a booger. But some on the other side, I could reach my hand in from the other side and reach it better. So I got them all started. Gear wrench helps. I'm gonna snug them all up and um, I can put the rest of it back together. Now to get to that <clears throat> choke, it's a 5 16 bolt that goes into that. Um, 5 16 headed bolt that goes into that. <clears throat> Carburetor is very soft. I just the choke's pushed all the way in. I just put it in there and pushed it all the way over to the choke open and then snugged it down. Do not over tighten that. That's in very soft metal. Don't take much to hold it. Don't over tighten it. Okay, so that pretty much does it. Um, there's a square nut that goes in here. I dropped it. 
be careful of that. I was putting it back in there and had too many things in my hands and dropped it. So I had to get me another square nut to put that in there. The air cleaner didn't put back on yet because I got another tractor under that blue thing. It's an SS15. Um, I need one of these for it yet. So I'm gonna get me a piece of rod maybe I guess and make one. Maybe I'll go on eBay and see if there's a cheap one. I don't know. But anyway, I need the rod. <clears throat> so um, I at least want to take the measurements of it and stuff. And then I'll put it back together. That way I can make one for the other one. Let's see if it'll still start. <laughs> 